What is going on guys? Welcome to the full FIFA 23 Team of the Year squad has been announced. So we'll get straight into the team. It's been leaked by Foot Sheriff. We've got the full team and of course, starting in goal, we have the best goalkeeper uh, that we're currently seeing in the world probably. We've got Thibaut Courtois. What performance for Real Madrid and in the Champions League from this goalkeeper. He's been absolutely immense. What a play for Real Madrid and fully deserved to be in the team. And we've got the right back next up is going to be, of course, Hakimi gets into the team. This could have been a couple of different players in at right back. You know, Cancelo could have fit in there as well. And the left back is where Cancelo maybe could have fitted in. But he doesn't. It's uh, Theo Hernandez makes it into the left back spot from AC Milan. So team of the year for AC Milan for the first time in God knows how long. Maybe the first ever, really. Real Madrid and PSG always getting Team of the Years. And another Real Madrid Team of the Year is going to be Eda Militao, guys. He gets his first Team of the Years at a couple Team of the Seasons um, in the past. What a centre-back. His card is going to be incredible. So fast with that probably 93, 94, 95 rated card. He's going to have, what, at least 92 pace as a centre-back. He's going to be super good and, of course, the best centre-back in the world of the past couple of years anyways it's Virgil van Dijk not the best start to the season the past four months or so but two trophies a second place in the Premier League for van Dijk you can't really complain about him being in there as well one of the best centre backs in the world and we start the midfield with another absolute shoe in from van Dijk to De Bruyne the first midfielder of the team absolutely incredible uh, obviously, he has some insane performances, so many assists. With Haaland up top, he's going to get even more assists. And another pre very predictable central midfielder in the team is going to be Modric in the side. He's going to be 88 rated for his gold card, but maybe his team of the year will be 96, 97. Again, he always gets the team of the year. He always is a fantastic player in the game as well. And the surprise of the entire team, really. It's not going to be Tony Cruz. It's not going to be Casemiro. It's going to be Jude Bellingham. Uh, one of the youngest team of the years we're ever going to have. Obviously, Mbappe was only 20 when he got his first team of the year. But this is Jude Bellingham, his first team of the year. He's going to get no links to anyone else in the team. Which maybe tells you a bit about the attackers. Maybe it doesn't, but there's no other English or Bundesliga player here. We'll start with the left side. Of course, Kylian Mbappe is going to be up top. With another PSG player, of course, Lionel Messi. And the last striker is going to be Kareem Benzema. He is in the team of the year. A very predictable squad. And with uh, Obviously, with the centre-backs, maybe instead of Militao or Van Dijk, we could have gone Cancelo, another great player. But yeah, I love the right-back, left-back, two centre-backs combination. We've got three flat CMs, some good players up top as well. It's going to be an incredible team of the year, guys. Um, we do already have as well at least one or two leaked objectives. Gundogan is going to be a nominee or a, an honourable mention. As well as possibly Kulamwani and also Ajiru is rumoured to be coming as an honourable mention. But that is the full team of the year guys. FIFA 23 team of the year fully announced and leaked. Let me know what you think of the team of the year down in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe to the channel. I love you. 100 subscribers coming soon. Peace.